This tutorial is about numerical differentiation and uh, we'll talk about first order derivatives. Now first order derivatives can be calculated using forward difference, backward difference or central difference and in each of these cases um, the derivative is becoming a difference equation where we are uh, finding the difference between the two consecutive values of the function and then dividing by the distance between those two values. Um, and um, all of these uh, difference equations um, are an approximation of the tangent to the function uh, with a secant on the function. So um, we'll still use the same um, equation that we um, used in the previous um, tutorials which is 12 plus 2 sine x minus x squared over 10 and then we'll use this equation to um, implement the derivative now you can you can find the derivative um, yourself but um, I'll show you uh, a method called symbolic manipulation in MATLAB that can also be used to uh, find the derivative so we know that this is the function that we have been talking about and easy plot from a to b so this is the function and we want to find the derivative of this function and you can see that it will be 2 cosine x minus x over 5 um, but let's do a little symbolic manipulation so there's a function called sims and this is used to define a symbol so I'm saying that x is actually not a variable um, or not a numerical value, it's a symbol. Now um, I can define a function of um, x and here is y. y is equal to 12 plus twice sine x minus x squared over 2. I actually don't need um, this dot anymore. And you can see that now y is simply a function now this is different from f f we are defining a matlab function in a line but y this is a mathematical function so i can use diff y to find the derivative of y in in the form of symbols so i define dy by dx as dy by dx oops by dx is equal to diff of y and you can see it actually computed it for you using symbolic manipulation. So 2 times cosine of x minus x over 5. And I can use subplot to put multiple plots in a figure. So I'm plotting easy plot of y and easy plot of dy by dx. And if I do that, um, show graphics. Um, so the top plot, which is 2, 1, 1 is the plot of the function and plot 2, 1, 2 is the plot of the derivative. So 2, 1 means 2 rows and 1 column and then the first one and the second one of those is the, the last argument of these lines. Okay. So with that done, now we want to calculate this using numerically because we, it may be difficult to do this part um, analytically so again just like we did before we will create um, we will create the samples using an interval dx is equal to 2 and now you can see that x's are minus 10 minus 8 minus 6 all the way to 10 and the corresponding values of the function are also computed using uh, the function that we defined earlier and now um, for the for forward difference we can find the number of points and then run a for loop where we are finding the forward difference x value and then forward difference y value which is the next value minus the current value divided by dx and if I run this code I find x forward difference and y forward difference and I can plot them on top of my previous uh, subplot of the derivative and show graphics you can see that the red line is actually the forward difference approximation of the derivative 
okay in a similar manner I have created this code for backward difference and central difference and but I will run the full code uh, now to show you the result and you can see that the red line is the forward difference the green line is the backward difference and black line is the central difference as you can see that um, uh, for example for the forward difference I cannot find the value here because there is no point after this available similarly in case of uh, backward difference I can find value here but I cannot find value at the first sample because there is no point before it and in case of central difference we don't have any point before here and after the last one so we only get points in the middle portion of the plot um, and you can see how um, they, they get shifted or they are they, there's also some scaling issues here which can be improved by increasing the number of uh, uh, points that we uh, sample points that we are using so if we change this to dx to 1 and rerun the code you can see it improves the estimate of derivative for all of these forward backward and central difference methods uh, let's change it to 0 0.5 and again look at the results you can see it even becomes better um, if we zoom in at the peak you will see that somehow how blue one is our analytical solution and then the black one ha is lower but kind of follows the same uh, shape green and red are um, similar in magnitude but they are shifted so all of these um, things um, can need to be taken into consideration when we are implementing uh, difference methods to estimate numerically the differentiation